Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is going to be kind of like a two-part because um, I just did a video and I used a uh, checkerboard, and some people might want to know how I created that checkerboard because I created it really fast. But then I was when I was doing this, I thought a lot of people don't realize, or maybe they do, but uh, some beginners, hopefully, uh, when you start drawing a square this little lock comes up and it's locked and unlocked when it's unlocked you can change one dimension it won't change the other dimension so if you want a two inch square you have to double it you have to type it in twice now if you have this locked you would think well let's make this two inches but it scaled it to 1.75 because your your box wasn't a square. So if you want to draw boxes, hold down your control key and your control key is going to make it square. Then with this locked, all you have to do is hit one button and call that two inches. All right, that's that part. Now drawing this, I've got my nudge factor set on two inches and this is a two by two box. So we're going to make a duplicate move over, duplicate, Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We don't need that one. Now select all these, duplicate, and it's still set on two inches. Two, three, whoop, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, you've got your checkerboard. Now, a lot of people, and I've seen it happen, would sit there and go, I even saw it on a video the other day. That is going to take some time. So what I suggest doing is just have two rows built. Take your color fill tool and color fill. Then select all these. Now you can actually set your nudge factor on four inches. You could do two, but just hit the, hit it twice. Control D, move it down. And there you have a checkerboard drawn. And don't forget now, you've got hairlines in there all around. So if you try to cut this out, it's going to cut out. So you could go through here and encompass them all and go, um, whoop. You can encompass them all, left click your mouse for no line, or maybe even the easier would be to left click and just turn this not to a hairline, make it one, one point. Now you got a checkerboard that will engrave and if you wanted to cut out, you would just create a, a, a box that is a 20 by 20 rectangle. So let's just do that real quick. Let's say you've got this and you want that engraved. What I would do is control G would group it, sit it, put it in the center, hold down your control button and make a box and make it 20 inches and hit P on the keyboard. Now it's going to engrave this and just cut out the outside. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.